hearty welcome to the video series on questions for revision at this video we will see questions from linear programming and probability reference material in all chapters of class 12 mathematics is available easily to all the students but the students are not able to gather necessary help from these material as students need detailed explanation of the solution steps <clears throat> the collection of the concepts required tips to do problems and tips to reduce errors <clears throat> the above needs of the students is taken care of at this tutorial series revision as the name suggest means looking back over previously learned information ensuring that it is clear and fresh in the mind to ensure this 10 questions per selected topic is compiled at this video the answers to the compiled questions is presented in pdf and video format take a print out of these questions before you start viewing this video this material <clears throat> is only a supplementary to the revision strategies planned and executed by your experienced teacher let us move on to questions Question number one: We have to check the nature of the graph of the inequality 2x plus 3y greater than 6. Now, roughly you can draw it. I have uh, showing you. This is the graph of 2x plus 3y greater than 6. You know that it passes through the point 3 comma 0 and 0 comma 2. <clears throat> Now, what is the nature of it? It does not contain the origin because origin does not satisfy the inequality and it divides the x o y plane into two half planes which does not contain the origin okay that is we have got the one idea and here one thing we are <coughs> visualizing it is not having a equality sign therefore the inequality does not contain the points on the line suppose if it is 2x plus 3y greater than or equal to 6 it will contain the points on the line 2x plus 3y is equal to 6 therefore the option is b half plane that neither contain the origin nor the points on the line 2x plus 3y is equal to 6 <clears throat> question number 2 a feasible solution is given to you you have to check the minimum occurs at what point very easy question you have to put these points at z and you have to check out which is the minimum value i am showing you the table which tells you the corner points and the value of uh, 3x minus 4y out of them you are checking out that the minimum value is <coughs> minus 32 it occurs at 0 comma 8 question number 3 a die is thrown and a card is selected from a pack of 52 cards in class 11 you might have seen this under a topic called uh, find the sample space here we have to find the probability of getting an even number and a spade card further there is no need to write the sample space as you did it in class 11 here i will take a as event of getting even number b as get <coughs> event of getting a spade card i will find the probability of a separately <coughs> even number there are three even numbers the were 3 by 6 1 by 2 And spade card there are thirteen, therefore thirteen by fifty-two, therefore one by four. Now, what is the nature of these events A and B? A and B are independent. Therefore, whenever you want probability of selecting an even number and a spade card, it will be probability of A and B, that is A intersection B. As the events are independent, it is P of A into P of B. Multiply the answer is one by eight. <clears throat> Question number four. Probability of p slash b is equal to pi in three. P of a is given. P of b is given. We have to find p of b slash a. You know the formula for p of a slash b. It is given to you. Let us find p of a slash b. It is p of a intersection b by p of b. By doing cross multiplication, I got the answer for p of a intersection b. Go back to the question asked. P of B slash A. You know the formula. P of A intersection B by P of A. Over point two four divided by point four. The answer is point six. <coughs> 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 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव ए कपल हैज टू चिल्ड्रेन फाइंड द प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट बोथ आर बॉयज इफ इट इज नोन दैट वन ऑफ द चिल्ड्रेन इज ए बॉय एंड द ओल्डर चाइल्ड इज ए बॉय कमिंग अंडर कंडीशनल प्रोबेबिलिटी टू डू दिस लेट अस ट्राई टू फाइंड द सैंपल स्पेस फॉर दैट लेट मी कॉल बी आई एंड जी आई stand for the child be the eighth boy and the girl because it is given that the older elder like that therefore i am uh, putting the numbers for it the sample space will be like this boy boy <coughs> first boy second girl first girl second boy and girl girl <coughs> <coughs> just like you had that head tail tail head tail tail head head like that the same way <clears throat> let us call a is the even that both the children are boys now a the set a will be b1 b2 b is equal to even that one of the child is a boy <clears throat> b1 b2 b1 g2 g1 b2 e is, c is equal to even that older child is a boy for b1 b2 and b1 g2 these are all subsets of the sample space the evens are subsets of the sample space keeping everything ready i can now <clears throat> go for answering the questions i can find a intersection b now i can find a intersection c now this is yes therefore probability of a intersection b is equal to 1 by 4 probability of a intersection c is equal to 1 by 4 probability of b is equal to 3 by 4 and probability of c is equal to 2 by 4 everything is ready now let us go on answering the questions now the probability that both are boys if it is known that one of the child is a boy is p of a slash b <coughs> probability that both are boys knowing that one of the child is a boy therefore uh, this is the formula for it we are having the value for all of these probabilities put it there the answer is 1 by 3 the answer is 1 by 3 once again <coughs> i am displaying the <clears throat> sets and the probabilities once again go to the second subdivision it is that both are boys known that <clears throat> elder child is a boy probability of a knowing that c has occurred therefore this is p of a slash c a intersection c by p of c we are having the values put it there it is 1 by 2 let's move on to question number 6 A bag contains four yellow, five red. Another bag contains six yellow and three red. One ball is transferred from first bag to second bag, and the ball is drawn from the second bag. Find the probability that the ball drawn is yellow. Total probability. Well, <clears throat> let us check out what are the two experiments over here. Experiment number one: transferring a ball from first bag to second bag, selecting a ball from the second bag. But first, we have to fix the events of the first experiment: transferring a ball from first bag to second. For that, let me call A as event of transferring a yellow ball and event of transferring a non-yellow ball. Why I am keeping this A and B as yellow because the question is on yellow ball. Suppose if the question is on red ball given in the question, you take A, a as event of transferring a red, B as event of transferring a non-red accordingly. <clears throat> Now I can find P of A because it is uh, four. And total balls are nine. Four by nine. P of B is equal to five non-yellow balls. Therefore, five by nine. Keep it ready. <clears throat> Now I have written here that uh, contents of the first and the second bag also for uh, reference. Drawing a ball from second bag is the second experiment. Let's call it as E. There will be only one event in the second experiment. Now what will happen to the second? experiment event it can follow a or it can follow b the meaning is it can follow after transferring a yellow ball or it can follow after transferring a non yellow ball well therefore it is a e or b e what's the meaning of a e <clears throat> first select transfer a yellow and select a yellow ball or transfer a non yellow and select a yellow ball or comes you have to add that p of a slash a e by making use of <clears throat> your uh, multiplication theorem of probability 
P of A into P of E slash A plus P of B into P of E slash B. How to read it? Probability of transferring a yellow ball into probability of selecting a yellow knowing that yellow ball is transferred plus probability of selecting non-yellow multiplied by probability of selecting a <coughs> yellow knowing that non-yellow is transferred. <coughs> Then I have written you what is P of E slash A and E slash B. Now we have to simply substitute the values now. P of A already we know 4 by 9. And you know that one yellow ball is transferred. Therefore total will become 6 plus 3 plus 1 therefore 10. Yellow ball is selected. Therefore numerator is 6 plus 1 therefore 7 by 10. Multiply 5 by 9. Multiplied by total ball <coughs> after transferring a non-yellow will be 10. But a non-yellow is transferred, no change in the number of yellow balls. Therefore, it is 6. I have shown you in a separate color, 7 by 10 and 6 by 10. Normal uh, <coughs> calculation, it is 29 by 35. Good. Two cards are drawn <coughs> with the replacement. Please note out very carefully. With the replacement from a pack of 52 cards. Find the probability distribution of number of kings. Please be careful with the word with the replacement and without replacement. Without replacement means it is a normal problem of drawing two cards. With the replacement it is a problem of drawing <coughs> one card each in two experiments. Well, uh, x denote the number of kings in draws. How many cards are drawn? Two cards are drawn. Therefore, it may be zero king, one king or two kings. These are the possible values of x. For these values only you have to find the probabilities and put it in probability distribution table. <coughs> I will call a1 as the event of getting king card in the first draw, event of getting king card in the second draw, event of not getting king card in the first draw and event of not getting king card in the second draw. <coughs> now getting king card in the first draw and the second draw both are 4 by 52. And probability of getting a non-king card in the first and the second row are both are 48 by 52. I am keeping it as 48 by 52. You can simplify it also. No issue. <coughs> I am keeping everything ready. Now let me go for finding the probability of not getting king in both the draws. What is the meaning? First draw also not king. Second draw also not king. Therefore B1 and B2. This is a problem of with replacement. Therefore, both are independent. Multiply the probability by the theorem on independent events. Therefore, the answer is 144 by 169. <coughs> Let us move on to the second one. That is finding the probability of getting one king. What is the meaning of it? King and non-king or non-king and king. Over here, uh, R is coming, therefore union, and is coming, therefore intersection. Wherever union comes plus, wherever intersection comes, multiplication because they are independent events. Using addition theorem and, and theorem on independent events. All the numbers are ready with you. Substitute them. It is 24 by 169. Let us move on to the last one. That is uh, two king cards, A1 and A2. King from the first and king from the second. <clears throat> Therefore, A1 intersection A2, both are independent. Multiply the probability. The answer is 1 by 169. You have to put it in the form of a table. <coughs> this is the probability distribution. And uh, how to check your answer? Check out that P of X. When you add all of them, you should get 1. That is 144 plus 24 plus 1 is 169 divided by 169. Here, uh, another advantage, suppose if you are done any mistake in any of them, either finding uh, probability for 1 and 2 and you can check out after uh, putting this probability distribution table. Let us move on to question number 8. Solve the linear programming problem graphically. Minimize, sorry, maximize x plus 8x plus 9 by subject to the constraints. Before we start, we will find the points and check out the nature of the constraints. Number 1. Points are 3, 0, 2, 0, origin included. 
I got the points by simply putting x is equal to 0, get the value of y, put y is equal to 0 and get value of x. If it is less than or equal to, origin included. <coughs> Number 2, the points are 2, 0 and 0, minus 3, origin included. This is the constraint. You know that what is it? It is a line parallel to x-axis and passing through 0, 1 and origin included. And uh, you know that the feasible region should be in the first quadrant. That is for all the problems of <coughs> linear programming problem. No issue. Now let me show you the <coughs> constraint one after the other in a graph. This is the constraint now. Points are this and origin included. Now this is the line and the line, the region is going down because origin is included. And move on to the second line. Uh, points are this and origin included. Now the first line already I have shown you, this is the second line. <coughs> Passes through 2 comma 0 and 0 comma minus 3 and origin included, therefore it goes up. The third one is a line parallel to the x-axis passing through the point 0 comma 1 and origin included, therefore that is the line. Now for all of them you can find out which is the feasible region and the point of intersection sometimes you may get it directly from the graph otherwise you have to solve the equation the which equations are just touching it now this is the feasible region and i have found that a o a b c d <coughs> the coordinates of o a and C and D can be found directly, but the coordinate of B you have to solve the two straight lines. Solve it by the any method which you know by elimination method and then get its <coughs> coordinates. I got the coordinate as 30 by 13 and 6 by 13. Sometimes you may get the point of intersection directly from the graph also, but sometimes you have to solve it. Now, I am putting the corner points in the table and I am finding which is the maximum value and from that you are just visualizing it. <coughs> the maximum value is 22.6 and it attained at 30 by 13 and 6 by 13. And I have given you the minimum value also. Sometimes they may ask you the minimum value also. Well, question number 9. Assertion. Let us move on to question number 9. The assertion is 2 dries are thrown. Probability of getting odd number on the first and multiple of 3 on the second is 1 by 6. Reason is for 2 events A and B, P of A plus P of A dash is equal to 1. Let us check the assertion now. For the assertion, we take uh, for the experiment of throwing 2 dice, total case 36. I am taking A as the event of getting odd number on the first and multiple of 3 on the second. But this is the even space 1 comma 3 1 comma 6 3 comma 3 3 comma 6 5 comma 3 5 comma 6 1 3 5 are odd numbers 3 and 6 are multiples of 3 <coughs> therefore p of a is 1 by 6 we need a assertion check it is true let us see the reason p of a plus p of not a is equal to 1 it is also true but the reason is not used for the assertion therefore both A and R are true, but R is not the correct explanation of A. <clears throat> Let us move on to question number 10. Assertion is P of A, P of B, P of A and B given. We have to find P of A dash slash B dash. And the reason is given as a formula for P of A dash intersection B dash. Let us move on to the assertion. We know that P of A dash slash B dash is P of A dash intersection B dash by P of B dash by the formula of condition probability. And A dash intersection B dash by D Morgan law is A union B whole dash. <coughs> and this is not A union B, denominator not B. Therefore, 1 minus P of A union B by 1 minus P of B. And by putting the values, I am getting the answer as 2 by 3. Therefore, assertion is true. But move on to the reason. Reason is P of A dash intersection B dash is P of A union B whole dash, which is also right as per the D Morgan law. And this as reason is used to prove the assertion. Therefore, both A and R are true and R is the correct explanation of A. Success is dependent on the effort. All the best. Thank you.